It seems like people really liked my last video, which was an introduction to ChatGPT for total beginners. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what you can actually use ChatGPT for. The first way you can use ChatGPT is as a replacement for Google search. I don't know about you guys, but the Google search experience has been absolutely awful lately. There's sponsored ads everywhere. It's mixed in with AI and it feels like a little chaotic to actually be able to find the answers that you need without tons of advertisements and other features popping up in your face. If you want something much more concise, ChatGPT is a perfect solution. Here you can see I was using ChatGPT to do some research on why AI will take some jobs. Instead of going to Google, I used ChatGPT itself to tell me why. This is actually some research that I did to create this video, so go and check that one out. You can see from the response here that ChatGPT gave me a really concise answer compared to the exploration that I would have had to do if I had used Google search. This is great because it gave me my answer a lot faster than if I had used Google. Now, if I scroll down, you can see I asked a follow-up question to further refine the information that ChatGPT was telling me and to learn more about what jobs would be affected by AI. This means that I was able to condense probably 10 or 15 minutes of researching on Google into two questions on ChatGPT. So if you're tired of Google and you want your information straight and to the point, perfect solution. The second thing that you can use ChatGPT for is when you need to write something. Here you can see I use ChatGPT to help me write a bio for a small marketing agency that myself and a friend started. I told ChatGPT my name and some important information that I wanted included in the bio, and then I had it create the bio for me. It gave me a massive response that I'm definitely not going to make everybody read whenever they're reading something simple like like a one page sheet about who I am, but you can take that information and tell it to condense the writing that it's given you. So ChatGPT was able to further refine until at the very bottom, you can see I got to something that I actually liked and used. And you can use this for any writing that you need or want to do emails, work docs, social media posts, even for journal prompts if you want to do physical writing in a journal. The third way you can use ChatGPT is when you're stuck creatively. I used it to come up with a YouTube playlist called AI Explained for Beginners. ChatGPT actually helped me create the first playlist on this channel. I'm also learning about buying and selling domain names and I'm pretty new so I asked her for ideas of domain names that would be creative that ended in dot core. And if I scroll down here, you can see I looked for a list of words that ended in core so I could get these domain names. I also used it for work. So I told it to write an outline for a growth plan for an AI startup because my responsibility was to create a growth plan for an AI startup. So I used ChatGPT to make sure that I didn't forget anything in my plan. I could also see someone like artists or other creatives using ChatGPT to inspire you. I haven't used ChatGPT in a really conversational way, but it's definitely something that you can do. However, I think something like Claude by Anthropic might be a better LLM to use for this. I have an LLM video where I go into others. And the fourth way that you can use ChatGPT is to create structure and plans. You can see at the bottom here, it says suggest fun activities for a family of four to do indoors on a rainy day. So it can help you with plans for your real life. I don't have much of a real life, so unfortunately I can't give you many examples of that. I like the internet. I play video games. What can I say? However, I can demonstrate how I've used ChatGPT to create structure and plans for my hobbies and for my work. So I've used it to create a list of YouTube videos that I should make to help new content creators for my other channel, Ashney Christ. I also had it create an email sequence to sell a course to help content creators. So it sent me email one, email two, and others. I'm a marketer, so all of my examples are very marketing, but you can use ChatGPT anytime that you have to create structure and like documentation, plans for your work or your week. Let's ask ChatGPT when I should have kids. You got to plan out your family, right? 
Let's see. Okay, chat GPT. Okay, baby, tell me. Biological factors, career and financial stability, relationship status, personal readiness, health and lifestyle, support network, and future plans. I mean, seems legit. Why not use ChatGPT to plan out one of the biggest decisions of your life, right? That's fine. I'm being facetious, by the way. This is probably not something you should use ChatGPT for. Next time, I'll talk about four ways that you should not use ChatGPT. So make sure to subscribe to get that video. And I'm about to have the best day because I'm going to go play Overwatch for six hours again. But have any gamers in the chat? Rise up.